कृष्णा कृष्ण 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 हे कृष्ण 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 हे कृष्ण 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 पाही मां राम राघव राम राघव राम राघव कृष्ण केशव कृष्ण केशव कृष्ण केशव पाही मां कृष्ण 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 हे कृष्ण 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 हे कृष्ण 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 रक्षा मां कृष्ण 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 पाही मां राम राघव राम राघव राम राघव रक्षा कृष्ण केशव कृष्ण केशव कृष्ण केशव पाही मां हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Okay, so we were we were recounting the pastimes of Lord Krishna when he moved to Dwarka. And we heard how he got his first wife, Rukmini. And then he got involved with the Shaimantaka jewel and he had to look for the Shaimantaka jewel and at that time he had a big fight with Jambavan. And Jambavan then after he Jambavan realized that Lord Krishna, that it was Lord Rama who was coming as Lord Krishna, then Jambavan surrendered to Krishna and he gave his daughter Jambavati to him. Jambavan随后就意识到，他面前和他作战的不是别人，正是他的主人，Ramachandra。现在以Krishna的形象到来，之后他就把他的女儿Jambavati送给Krishna。and then when he came back with the Shamantaka jewel, then Satrajit felt ashamed and Satrajit gave his daughter Satyabhama to Krishna. And then Krishna So in this way Lord Krishna had the first three wives. 就这样主, so it happened that uh, there was news about the Pandavas that people thought they had been burned in the in the fire when the house of Shalak had been set on fire. They thought the Pandavas and Queen Kunti had been burned there in that house and they were all dead. 这时候呢, 潘大武兄弟所住的重交,重期,住成的房子呢,着火了。人们以为潘大武兄弟和他们的母亲昆蒂皇后都被烧死了。So Lord Krishna, He is the Supreme Lord, He knows everything. So He knew that they were not dead. But the news had, been, the news had come to Dwarka and Lord Krishna was concerned about this. But then after some time, then the news came that the Pandavas were not dead. They were actually alive and Kunti was also alive. When, so when the news that the Pandavas were not dead, came to Dwarka, then Lord Krishna 
was relieved and he also came from Dwarka. He came to Hastinapur to, to meet the Pandavas. And Lord Krishna was spent, he spent some time there with the Pandavas. Actually, the relationship between Lord Krishna and the Pandavas and Queen Kunti was very deep. It was even greater than the, the affection which Lord Krishna had for his own mother, Devaki and Vasudev. The Lord Krishna cared more for Queen Kunti and the Pandavas. He was more concerned for them because he knew that Kunti was bringing up the children. Kunti was bringing up children without any husband. But Devaki, she had her husband Vasudev with her. Although her sons had been killed by Kamsa, Devaki was with Vasudev. So Krishna understood that well, Devaki and Vasudev, they're there with each other. But Kunti was just alone with five young ch young children. So Lord Krishna had such deep love for the Pandavas and Queen Kunti, he was always concerned for their welfare. So he came there to Hastinapur to be with them and to spend time with them uh, and appreciate their presence. Krishna,于是便来到了哈斯纳普尔，和昆提皇后以及他们呃潘达五星聚在一起。Lord Krishna enjoys so much to be with his devotees. He takes great pleasure in pleasing his devotees and caring for them. So it happened that while Lord Krishna was there in Hastinapur, on one occasion, he had gone with Arjuna. Arjuna had gone into the forest to, to do hunting. Arjuna, as a Kshatriya, he has to be able to use all the different weapons. He has to fight. He has to protect everyone. And that protection, he has to protect not only the people, he has to protect the animals. So, uh, Lord Krishna went with Arjuna. Ar Lord Krishna didn't do any hunting, he just simply went with Arjuna. He wanted to see how proficient Arjuna was with all these different weapons. And he saw Arjuna kill different wild animals which would bring trouble into the forest like tigers and so on. They would be killed by Arjuna. So then these animals after they were killed, they would be taken back to Hastinapur where they would be used in sacrifices performed by the Brahmanas. 
就会被带回，嗯 ，Hastinapur， 由这些 Brahmana 用于祭祀。So it happened one day while they were while they were hunting like this, uh, that they came by the river Yamuna and they went there to drink the clear water from the Yamuna river. 有一天，当他们去森林，去森林的时候呢，他们就路过了雅木的雅木的河，他们就去河中去喝水。So they saw that at the side of the river, they saw this very attractive young woman living who was there, and they were surprised to see a young woman there alone. 当他们来到河边呢，就看见河边有一位窈窕的美女。他们看到这位姑娘，她感到独自一人的时候，感到非常惊讶。So this young woman was actually the personification of the river Yamuna. Her name was Kalindi. 这位年轻的姑娘实际上是雅木纳河的人格化身，名字叫 Kalindi. So Lord Krishna told Arjuna. He said, "Go and inquire from this young woman. Who is she? What is she doing here?" Krishna 就命令 Arjuna， 呃，你去询问一下这位年轻姑娘的身份，她是谁？她住在哪里？她在做什么 ？So Arjuna approached the young woman and asked her about how it was that a young woman was here alone, and she said. That actually, she said, "I am the daughter of the sun god." Arjuna 就上前去询问，为什么他年嗯，这位年轻的姑娘她独自一个人在这里徘徊。嗯，这个姑娘就告诉阿朱纳说，实际上她是太阳神的女儿。And she said, "I told my father, I want to accept Lord Vishnu as my husband." 他说：“我告诉我的父亲说，我想接受威威士努做丈夫。I don't want any other husband but Lord Vishnu。除了威士努之外，我不想任何人成成为我的丈夫。So my father has arranged for me. He's built a house for me here, but at the river Yamuna, where I can live, and I'm here and I'm waiting here until I get Lord Vishnu as my husband.” 因此，我的父亲便在雅木纳河这里为我建造了一所房子，我就一直住在这里，直到我能够得到维什努做我的丈夫。So Arjuna came back and told Lord Krishna about the the woman, and so they invited the woman that she could come with Krishna and he would take her with him back to Dwarka as his wife. Arjuna 便把便回来把实情一五一十的告诉了 Krishna， 于是 Krishna 就同意了，他们就把嗯 Kalindi 带回了，带了回去。She was a very、uh, courageous young woman that she was ready. She was so determined to get Lord Vishnu as her husband that she was willing to stay there in the beside the Yamuna River and just wait for the Lord to come to get her. 她是一位非常勇敢的。姑娘，她愿意就一直呃住在河边，下她下定决心，嗯，直到嗯得到主威士努做她的丈夫，她将一直留在那里等待着主威士努。So in this way, Lord Krishna brought another wife back to Dwarka, and they had when they got back to Dwarka, they arranged an um an opulent marriage ceremony for the couple. 就这样，主威士呢又得到另外一位妻子。他就把这这位新娘带回了杜尔卡城，在那里举行了盛大的婚礼。And then next it happened that there was a a woman who was also a daughter of a king, and she was、uh, she was to have a swayambara ceremony where she could select her husband. 有另外一一位年轻的公主，她就将举行她的选夫大会，呃，去选择她的丈夫。So the the kings had these kings who the, the king was a 
the father of this girl, they told this girl, you can, ma you can pick your husband, but you cannot marry Krishna. Don't marry Krishna because Krishna was the enemy. You see, this king, he was a supporter of Duryodhana. And Duryodhana, of course, was the enemy of the Pandavas and Krishna. So they had told this girl, you can pick your own husband, but don't select Krishna. You cannot marry Krishna. This girl's name was Mitra Vinda. So Lord Krishna heard that she was having a Swayamvara ceremony, and so he came there to the ceremony, and before the, the girl could select anyone, Lord Krishna took her for his wife. She actually wanted to marry Krishna. But her father had told her, you should not marry Krishna. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't father, it was brother, her brother. Brother was the enemy of Krishna. So Lord Krishna had to personally come there and take her himself. And in this way Lord Krishna got another wife. And so then, uh, next wife, that, that's, let's see, that was Kalindi and Mitravinda, and then next wife was someone called Satya. Satya was the daughter of King uh, Nabnajit. So sometimes she was named Nab, Nab, Nabnajiti. Satya is Nagnajit Wang's daughter. Nagnajiti. So this king was a very powerful king, and he had a very wonderful daughter who many people wanted to marry. So the king decided he would put a, a challenge to the men who wanted to marry his daughter, that if they wanted to win the hand of his daughter, that they would have to complete, they would have to do some very difficult task. So the king had seven bulls. He had these bulls and the bulls had very long, sharp horns and they were very ferocious, nasty bulls. And the, anybody who wants to marry the girl, they have to tame seven bulls. So many different princes came and they tried to tame the bulls, but they all got limbs broken and torn and some even died. So Lord Krishna heard about this challenge which is there. Lord Krishna decided to come there and he came there with his whole army. So Lord Krishna decided to come there and he came there with his whole army. 
So King Nagnajit was very happy to receive Lord Krishna to his kingdom. He gave him a very nice reception. And then Krishna, Lord Krishna told the king that I've come here to take your daughter. I'll take her for my wife. So this Nagnajit, he was a devotee. He understood, he told Krishna, yes, he said, I know you are the Supreme Lord Narayan. I think you will be the best husband for my daughter. So uh, Lord Krishna said that, Then you should give me your daughter, I'll take her for my wife. But the king said, Yes, but you you I've put this condition. You have to meet this condition. I know you're the Supreme Lord, so it's not going to be very difficult for you. I want you to show your prowess and defeat, tame these bulls, and then I will be happy to give you my daughter. So, so Lord Krishna went into this arena where there were seven nasty bulls with these long sharp horns. So Lord Krishna expanded himself seven times. And each form of Krishna took one of the bulls and they, they, they took the bull and uh, tied it up and put a, a rope through the nose and tamed them. Mm. Lord Krishna expanded himself seven times to show his inconceivable power. He shows himself to show that he is actually the Supreme Lord and that he can perform these miracles. He wants to satisfy King Nabnajit by tying up the bulls. And he also wants to satisfy the girl, Satya, because she knows Krishna's already got several wives. He's already got Rukmini and Satyabhama and Jambavati and Kalindi and Mitravinda, five wives. To Krishna, So this. This girl Satya, she's going to be the sixth wife. So she may be worried that, you know, it's already got five wives and they're very beautiful princesses, they've all become his wives. What hope will I have? I, he won't have much time for me. Uh, Satya but Krishna is showing her that he can expand himself 
and he can be with each of his queens. Krishna, 于是便嗯向 Satya 展示出他可以扩展他自己和每一位公主在一起 That he can, by his inconceivable potency, he can simultaneously be with each queen in a different place and be performing different activities. 主 Krishna 凭借他不可思议的能能量，他可以扩展自己和每一位公主在一起，在不同的时间，在不同的在同一时间和,和每一位公主在一起。So in this way, Lord Krishna took this girl Satya, who was the daughter of King Nagnaji. 就这样，主 Krishna 就接受了 Nagnaji 的王的女儿 Satya。And then there are two more wives. Altogether, there are eight principal queens of Krishna. That, 除此之外，主 Krishna 又娶了另外两位妻子，所以这一共有八位主要的皇后。One one girl was Badra, and she was offered to Lord Krishna. But she was actually the the daughter of Krishna's paternal aunt. Uh, um, the the fifth one, name is called Bajra. She is Krishna's um, grandmother, grandmother's daughter. So she was offered to Lord Krishna for his wife, and Lord Krishna was gracious to accept her. Um. 那么这个呃，巴卓呢是被主动的嗯许配给了 Krishna。Krishna 呢也欣然的接受了他。And then the final, the eighth wife was a young girl named Lakshmana, who was also the daughter of a king. 第第八位主要的首席皇后呢，名字叫 Lakshmana， 她也是一位国王的女儿。So we see Lord Krishna when he was a cowherd boy in Vrindavan. He was enjoying with the cowherd girls. We see that when Krishna was in Vrindavan, he was enjoying with the cowherd girls. We see that when Krishna was in Vrindavan, he was enjoying with the cowherd girls. We see that when Krishna was in Vrindavan, he was enjoying with the cowherd girls. We see that when Krishna was in Vrindavan, he was enjoying with the cowherd girls. We see that And Lord Krishna came there and took her for his wife. 那么现在 Lakshmana 他也要举行他的选夫大会，主 Krishna 就来到现场，也把他带走了。Now sometimes when Lord Krishna would take these women for his wives, there would be opposition. The other kings who wanted the girl for their wife, they would become angry and they would come after Krishna and attack him. 当主 Krishna 在娶这些呃公主的时候，都会遇到阻力。有其他的国王也来到这选妇大会来进攻他。And、Lord Krishna would show his courage and fight with them and defeat them. 主 Krishna 就会在这些场合展示出他的英武，击败击败这些国王们。If you go to India, you will see how it, in Bengal especially the ladies part their hair in the middle. And they will put some red marking there in the middle in the parting in the hair. 如果你们去孟加拉，就会看到孟加拉的妇女呢，她们把头发就中分，中分之后呢，她们中间呢就有一个，就在那中间呢有一个红线。So it said, the 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 husband has to show his strength. He has to fight to win the hand of the wife of this this girl. So he will fight the other man, and then with the blood he will put that there in the parting in the hair. 那么据说呢，就是这这个丈夫他在娶自己的妻子的时候呢，他要和他的竞争对手呃作战，然后他会把这个对手的这个鲜血呢，嗯，就抹在他这个妻子的这个中中分线上。In this way, they will show their valor. To their wife, that they have won this girl for their wife. 他就这样向他的妻子来证实他是有资格的、合适的
So in Mayapur, in Mayapur you can see the temple in Mayapur we have Radha Madhava and the eight gopis, but here in Dwarka it's Krishna and his eight queens. But Krishna is not finished yet. He's going to get some more wives. He's going to get another 16,100 queens to be. And he got these wives when he had to go to he had to he was requested by King Indra to kill one demon who was troubling everyone. There was a demon by the name of Boma. And this demon had taken things from the demigods and the demigods couldn't defend themselves against him. He took the earrings from Mother Aditi. She's the mother of the demigods. And he took the umbrella from Varuna, the god of the sea. And he took also the place where the demigods go to enjoy in Mount Mandara. So Indra was so worried about this demon, he came to appeal to Lord Krishna and he asked Lord Krishna to personally go there and deal with him. So when Krishna went there, he took Satyabhama with him. So the Acharyas, who, when they hear about this pastime, then they, they have to explain why Krishna would take Satyabhama with him to do something like killing a demon. So it's one some the acharyas explained one possible reason why Krishna did this was because well he wants Satyabhama to enjoy this pastime, the killing of the he wants her to see the excitement of the battle. But there's another reason, also a deeper reason. And we have to understand the identity of this. You have to understand the identity of the, this demon, this Bomasura, that he is actually the son of Bhumi, who is the deity of the earth planet. And the father was Lord Varaha. Mother Bumi had fallen into the bottom of the earth planet, in the bottom of the universe. And Lord Varaha picked up the earth from the bottom of the universe. Mm, 地球, 地球, 
呃，瓦拉哈呢，必须把地球从这个宇宙的底部给救出来。So at that time, Mother Diti, while she was being picked up by Lord Varaha, she requested Lord Varaha to give her a child. 嗯，当布米女神呢被瓦拉哈从宇宙的底部救起的时候，她请求瓦拉哈。And the result was, Bumi had this child named Boma. 结果呢，布米就有了这个嗯儿子叫波马。So in the beginning, he was a good child. He was very devoted because he's the son of Bumi, the Earth planet. 嗯，一开始呢，这个孩子是非常呃非常优秀的孩子，因为他是布米地球。But later on, as the boy grew up, he fell into bad association, and he was associating with different demons like Bana Sura. 但是随着在他长大成人的过程当中呢，他就有了不良的联谊，他和像巴纳摩这样的恶魔有联系。So we can understand the importance of association. That even though you may be the child of the Lord Himself, you can become demonic if you don't get good association. From this incident, we can see the importance of association. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is a child of the Lord, he can become demonic. Even if a person is That he could steal these things from the demigods. So this child, he became so evil and powerful, he even stole the demigods' treasures. Not only had he stolen these things from the demigods, but he had taken sixteen thousand one hundred young princesses away, and he was keeping them captive in his own kingdom. He not only No one could oppose him. Lord Krishna had to come to deal with him. So, no one could oppose him. Lord Krishna had to come to deal with him. And the demon was very powerful, and he had this other demon. There was this demon called Mura, who had five heads, who was guarding him. This evil. Besides this, this evil has also a friend called Mura. He has five heads. Mura. Mura. Yeah. He was very powerful. Mura. Yeah. He was living in the. The demon had his own palace surrounded by a moat. You know, a moat, a canal of water. And the demon Mura was living in the bottom of this moat. Because his palace was surrounded by a moat, and the evil demon Mura, 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 he was living in the bottom of this moat. He was living in the bottom of this moat. He was living in the bottom of this moat. He was living in the bottom of this moat. He was living in the bottom of this moat. He was living in the bottom of this moat. He was living in the bottom of this moat. He was living in the bottom of this moat. And when he blew his conch shell, it's a terrifying sound, and it 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 evoked fear in the hearts of everyone just hearing it. Lord Krishna, 呢就来了，当他就率领军队来了之后，吹响了他的潘查詹亚海螺，这个海螺的声声音呢，就震碎了这些恶魔的心。So the demon came out and came out from the bottom of the moat in an angry mood, and it came to attack Lord Krishna. Then this Mura Mo, just angrily from the bottom of the moat, um, the bottom of the moat, and it came out to attack Lord Krishna. Then Lord Krishna, and Lord Krishna decapitated him. He cut off all his five heads with the Sudarshan Chakra. Lord Krishna used his sword to cut off his five heads with the Sudarshan Chakra. And there were many different methods the demon was employing to protect himself and his kingdom. He had many different systems, different devices to stop people from entering. This evil 
恶魔呢，为了保护他自己的城市呢，他有各种各样的防御工事建造了。They had all kinds of wiring, barbed wiring, and and then the special poison gases and things to, and then fire fire also. 他建造了这个电网，还有毒气。呃，还有毒气，还有这个火火焰来保护他自己的城市。So Lord Krishna overcame all these obstacles and he got through to into the kingdom, and then met with Bhomasura. 主 Krishna 就一一一一攻破了这些防御工事之后，他就亲自就来到了这个恶魔的宫殿。Now Lord Krishna had brought such a bomber with them. One of the reasons was was because she is Bumi is the expansion. The deity of the earth is the expansion of Satya Bama. To Krishna, 之所以带了 Satya Bama， 原因之一是 Bumi 是 Satya Bama 的扩展。So when Lord Krishna was having a big fight with Bomasura. Lord Krishna had promised Mother Earth that He would not kill her son until she gave permission. To Krishna, 曾经就是向 Bumi 许诺说，除非得到 Bumi 女人亲口呃亲自的认可同意，否则他不会杀死他的儿子。So Lord Krishna is fighting with the demon, and the the fight became very desperate. And so it became so desperate at some point that Satya Bama pleaded to Krishna that please quickly kill this demon. To Krishna, and this evil demon's fight was so fierce, so that Satya Bama had to personally ask Krishna to kill this evil demon. And with the permission of Satya Bama. That was non-different from getting permission from Bumi, the Earth Planet. 得到了 Satya Bama 的同意，就和得到了 Bumi 女神本人的同意是一样的。And so, in this way, Lord Krishna was authorized that he could kill this Bomasura. 就这样，主 Krishna 就得到了杀死这个 Bomasura 魔的授权。And when he killed Bomasura, then. The, the son of Bomasura came and offered all the things which his father had stolen, and gave them back to Lord Krishna. When Bomasura was killed, his son personally took all the things that his father had stolen. So Lord Krishna uh, then took these things, and he had to go to the heavenly planets and give them back to the demigods. 当 Krish 主 Krishna 拿到了这些物品之后呢，他就要去天堂归还给半神。And it was at that time he took Satya Bama with them. They went to the heavenly planets, and、uh, they returned the earrings and the umbrella and everything to the demigods. 主 Krishna 于是就带着 Satya Bama 就去了天堂，把 Aditi 的耳环。以及瓦鲁纳的华盖和其他的物品就归还给了半世人们。And it was at that time Krishna said to Satya Bama that you can take one of these parajata trees. Let's take a parajata tree with us back to Dwarka. 也就是在这个趁这个时机呢，主 Krishna 就对 Satya Bama 说，你可以就从这里拿走一棵花树，我们把它们带回杜尔卡城。It's just like sometimes the husband will take the wife shopping. 就好像一个丈夫带他妻子去购物一样。Right, the husband takes the wife. The the wife's like to go shopping, right? Sometimes, so the husband will go take the wife shopping, and the wife says, "Oh, I would like this." Ah, so Krishna says, "Oh yes, get that parajata tree. Take it. Come on." 这就好像妻子喜欢买东西一样，丈夫就会带着这个妻子逛商场。妻子就跟丈夫说：“我喜欢这个。”丈夫说：“哦，没问题，你拿走吧。” So they brought, they got the parajata tree, but then Indra's wife became very angry and said, "No, that tree belongs to heaven. They cannot take the tree away." 正当他们准备把这个帕拉扎的树拿走的时候呢，英主的妻子不乐意了，说：“嗯。” 
他这个 p a r a c h a t 是不是属于天堂的？他们怎么能拿走呢？嗯、And so there was some fight. Then Indra began to fight with Lord Krishna, but of course Indra was always defeated by Krishna. 接着呢 ，Indra 就和 Krishna 就打了起来。当然了，最后 Krishna 总是能旗开得胜的。But you can see how people can become proud of some little opulence because the demigods have some opulence. They were thinking it belongs to us. And the Lord Krishna came there, and he tried to restrict him from taking it. We can see from this that when people have a little bit of wealth, they become proud. They think that this wealth is belongs to them. Then Lord Krishna has to prove that this wealth is belongs to him. So in this way, Lord Krishna took the parijat tree, took it back to Dwarka. So in this way, Lord Krishna took the parijat tree, took it back to Dwarka. 就 Krishna 就这样把帕尔扎的花束就拿回了多尔卡城。But when he was、uh, killing Bomasura, that that time he he freed the sixteen thousand one hundred princesses who had all been kidnapped by Bomasura. 当主 Krishna 杀死了 Bomasura 魔之后。他就释放了被恶魔关押的一万六千一百位公主。So the sixteen thousand one hundred princesses, they all looked at Lord Krishna and said, "We have nowhere to go. Now we have been taken by this demon. No, we have nowhere to go. No one will have anything to do with us." 那这一万六千一百位公主呢，都眼巴巴的看着 Krishna 说：“现在我们都已经没、呃、没地方去了，因为我们已经被恶魔就带到了这里。现在没有人会愿意接受我们。”Because they'd been touched by the demon Bomasura, they'd been kidnapped by him, so no, their their chastity was ruined, so no man would have would accept them anymore. 因为这些公主都都是被恶魔绑架，嗯，绑架到这里的，所以，嗯，没有人，他们的贞，他们的贞洁已经被践踏了，没有人会接受他们。So they appealed to Lord Krishna, what can we do? Where can we go? We have nobody. 所以这些公主们都向 Krishna 恳求说，那我们能去哪里呢？ And you've killed Bomasura, the demon who took us. Now we appeal to you. Please give us shelter at your lotus feet. Now, if you have killed this demon who took us, now we appeal to you. Please give us shelter at your lotus feet. Now, if you have killed this demon who took us, now we appeal to you. Please give us shelter at your lotus feet. Now, if you have killed this demon who took us, now we appeal to you. Please give us shelter at your lotus feet. He accepted all the sixteen thousand one hundred princesses as his wife. So Krishna, 这样呢，就出于他的怜悯本性，就这样接受了这一万六千一百位公主。So.、Uh, Lord Krishna took all the princesses with him back to Dwarka, and then he arranged a marriage for all of them. So Krishna 把所有这些公主们都带回了杜尔卡，他为每一位公主都安排了婚礼。And they had a separate marriage ceremony for each of the sixteen thousand one hundred princesses. 他为每一位公主，就是这一万。六千一百位公主，每一位公主都安排了单独的婚礼。And Lord Krishna expanded himself to be with each of the sixteen thousand one hundred princesses. 主 Krishna 还把自己扩展，和每一位，呃，和这一万六千一百位公主和他们每一位生活在一起。And not only did Lord Krishna expand himself, but Lord Krishna's parents. Vasudev and Devaki, they could also expand themselves, and they also attended each of the marriages. Not only Lord Krishna himself, he expanded himself. His parents, his father and mother, also expanded themselves. 
And of course, Lord Krishna had a separate palace for each of the queens. 当然了，主库什呢，他和他和每一位公主呢，都生活在一个独立的宫殿里。So every day, Lord Krishna would come out from the palaces, and all the sixteen thousand one hundred different forms of Krishna would all merge into one, and Krishna would go into the assembly, the Sudharma assembly, and oversee the affairs of Dwarka. 每天清晨呢，这一万六千一百零八位八位库什呢，都从各自的宫殿走出来，然后他们就呃融合合成一位库什呢，这一位库什呢呢就走到这多尔卡城的议事大厅，嗯，嗯，就是议事大厅。And Narada Muni, sometimes he would come and visit Krishna in Dwarka, and he would be amazed to see. He would go and visit Krishna in different palaces, and he would see in every palace Krishna was doing something different. Yogis can expand themselves up to nine times. But when they expand nine times, each of the nine forms is doing the same thing. They're just like mirror images. But Lord Krishna could expand himself an unlimited number of times, and each of the form would be independent. Narada Muni went to visit Krishna in different palaces. He saw in one palace Lord Krishna is playing with his wife and children. In another palace, Krishna is playing chess. Narada Muni in another palace, Lord Krishna is resting. And in another palace, Krishna is taking his meal. And Narada Muni could see Krishna doing all different things in different places at the same time. And all of Krishna's queens, they were living, although they were Krishna's queens, they were all very humble and they lived just like maidservants of Lord Krishna. And they would spend their time cleaning in the palace. Although there was never any dirt, there was never any dust, but still they would be cleaning the palace in a service for Lord Krishna. So in this way, Lord Krishna lived with them as their husband, and each of his queens, they had nine, nine sons and one daughter. So these kings and Krishna, they gave Krishna nine sons and one daughter. I don't know how they got them all married. I don't know, not so many sons and only one daughter from each of the queens. Oh. Mm. Anyway, there were so many people living in Dwarka this way. There was many, many people all living there in Dwarka. With the, as the Yadu dynasty. 
，但是在嗯，无论如何在嗯，多尔卡城、亚都王嗯王朝呢，他们的人口数量是非常庞大的。嗯、mm. ，Lord Krishna is performing his pastimes here in in Dwarka. He's showing the opulent feature of the Supreme Lord. 主 Krishna 在多尔卡的生活呢，展示了他作为至尊主的富裕。In Vrindavan, the mood is sweetness, but in Dwarka, the mood is opulence. In Vrindavan, there the mood is sweetness, but in Dwarka, the mood is opulence. So, are there any questions? No. Have you any questions? If anybody asks you about Krishna having many wives, you can deal with it. You can answer. You can explain to them. If there is any question about Krishna, he has wives, he has these wives, you can explain to them. Yes, Prabhu. Any question? Yeah. 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 Marriage with the Talandi mother. Yes. So uh, Arjun and uh, Lord Krishna was uh, playing uh, uh, hunting, right? Yes. So, Ar Arjuna was hunting. Krishna was not hunting. Okay. So, Krishna was watching. Okay. So that uh, uh, hunting for a fire sacrifice, so that uh, I couldn't understand properly. So, Papu's question is that when Lord Krishna took Kalindi as a wife, when Arjuna was hunting and killing these animals, he would use them to make the animals. Yes, uh, Arjuna was very happy when he was hunting and killing these animals. Yes, I said, Arjuna is a Kshatriya, he has to keep the peace. And he has to keep the peace not only in the towns but also in the jungle and in the forest. Arjuna, as a Kshatriya, he not only has to protect the city's peace, but he has to protect the forest and the jungle. So sometimes some creatures in the forest become a problem, and they start to kill other animals. Sometimes, in the forest, So at that time, the Kshatriya king, he will go into the jungle and he will hunt these, these uh, animals and kill them. And so these animals can be then taken back to the royal palace where they can be used in the performance of a Vedic sacrifice. But the Brahmanas who are doing the sacrifice, they can use this animal in their sacrifice. So that's how it's described. This way, the killing of the animal is becomes useful, and the animal is benefited also. When the animal is used in the sacrifice, then it will be benefited in the next life. When the animal is killed, the animal is used in the sacrifice, and it will be benefited in the next life. When the animal is killed, the animal is used in the sacrifice, Yeah, any other question? Maharaj, you said that Krishna has 6,000 wives and but the main is the Rukmani, Sakti, Kama and what is the difference between 6,000 and this three? Rukmani, Sakti, Kama and what three is the main? Not 6,000, 16. 16,000? Yeah, yeah. Sixteen thousand one hundred and eight. 
what is the difference between just three Rukmani, Satya Bhama and the... Well, Rukmini and Satya Bhama and Jambavati, they were the first three wives. Gonamanachuan so there's some superiority among the queens, right? So it's a Huang Ho Dang Jung na Tam Yeshio Tiva Yeshio Chutsajifunda. Rukmini and Satyabama, they're the principal queens of Lord Krishna. Rukmini ko Satyabama Shi Shandu Krishna the Sho Si Huang Ho. Rukmini was taken by Lord Krishna for his very first wife and it, it, it was quite a battle. He, he, he had to rescue her. She was supposed to be married to Thishupal. Rukmini的过程呢还是挺复杂的因为本来Rukmini呢被许配给了Thishupal <laughs> But Rukmini is uh, the goddess of fortune, and the goddess of fortune is the consort of the Supreme Lord. Right? Lakshmi is the consort of Lord Narayan. So the goddess of fortune comes in the form of Rukmini. So And she's the principal wife of Lord Krishna. Oh, Satyabama. She is one one of the she's number two wife of Lord Krishna. <laughs> because Narada Muni gave Parajata flower to Rukmini and Satyabhama felt a little bit disturbed that she didn't get a Parajata flower. So Lord Krishna knows the mind of his wives. So he told Satyabhama, he said, Don't worry, I will get you a whole tree. Krishna就了解他的妻子的心思，他就安慰他说：“你不用担心，我会送给你一整棵树。” Rukmini only had one flower, but Lord Krishna told Satyabhama, I will get you a whole tree. Rukmini呢，他只有只有一朵花，而Krishna答应Satyabhama说，我将送给你一整棵树，一整棵花树。and so Lord Krishna came after he had brought that, after he fought with Indra, and they came back from heaven with the tree, they planted the tree in Dwarka. So Lord Krishna wants to see how Rukmini will be. Will Rukmini be angry? Will she be jealous? But Rukmini was not, she didn't, she's not disturbed at all. She has the highest qualities. Rukmini so sometimes Lord Krishna would try to make her angry. 
。有的时候呢，主 Krishna 会试图激怒 Rukmini。He would enjoy to see her when she gets angry. 当 Rukmini 生气的。Krishna 喜欢看，想看 Rukmini 生气的样子。Sometimes the, the man will tell the woman, "Oh, you look more beautiful when you're angry." <laughs> 有的时候呢，丈夫会对妻子说，呃，当你生气的时候，你的样子更好看。<laughs> so Lord Krishna told Rukmini, one day he was with Rukmini and he told her, "You know." I'm not fit to be your husband. There were so many other kings wanting to marry you. I think you should go to them. I'm not really qualified to be your husband. 有一次呢，主 Krishna 就对 Rukmini 说，你知道吗？有那么多王子想娶你，我不认我我，我认为我自己没有那么有资格。你应该去找这些王子。Because I kidnapped you that time, you were supposed to be married to another king. You know, Krishna said, "I'm I'm just a cowherd boy. You know, I'm not re really a king's son." There was there were kings, there were princes and kings with big position. I'm just a nobody. I'm just a cowherd boy, and you're a king's daughter. So I'm not really qualified to be your husband. To Krishna, 呢，他就这样。就是戏弄 Rukmini 说，你知道吗？我只是个牧牛童而已，而你呢，是一个国王的公主，我并不是那么有资格娶你的。So I think, I think, you know, maybe you should go and marry one of these other. 所以我想呢，你应该去，你本来应该是去嫁给，呃，嫁给其中的一个王子。Now at this time, Krishna and Rukmini were already grandparents. Krishna 说这话的时候呢，他和 Rukmini 都已经当就是祖父祖母了。They've been married for a long time. 他们已经结婚，都已经是老夫老妻了。Their children had grown up and married and had children. They were grandparents. 他们的。儿子都已经都成婚了，都有自己的孩子了。But Krishna, he wants to test Rukmini. He wants to joke with her, try to make her angry. 但是 Krishna 呢，他就想测试 Rukmini， 和他开玩笑，就想看他生气。But Rukmini didn't become angry. Instead, what happened when Krishna said like this? Rukmini fainted. 但 Rukmini 根本就没有生气，相反，他昏了过去。<laughs> Just the thought that Lord Krishna would give her up, would not be married to her, it was so painful that she could not bear to think of it, and she felt she became unconscious. Hmm. Rukmini, she 一想到主 Krishna 会放弃她，她一想到嗯，她那 Krishna 不娶她。他这个念头就令他已经受不了，他就，呃，倒地下昏昏倒在地。So then Lord Krishna immediately jumped up and he picked her up and he, and comforted her and told her, "No, I I'm only joking. I didn't mean it. It's not really true." 就这时候呢 ，Krishna 马上就，呃，跳起来就抱起了呃 Rukmini， 就安慰了她说。啊，我只是在跟你开玩笑而已。我说的话不是真的。And then Rukmini began to speak as she came back to consciousness. She said, "She said, 'No, it's true. Actually, she said, 'I'm not qualified to be your wife. But I, I, you are the supreme lord. How I can never be a wife to you?'" 嗯，当 Rukmini 苏醒之后呢，他就回答 Krishna 说，实际上你说的话都是真的。呃，我没有本，我是没有资格嫁给你的。你是至尊人格守神。But you are the supreme lord, and everything is your property. 你是至尊主，一切都是你的财产。Anyway, Rukmini showed her greatness as a devotee. Rukmini 就展示了她伟大奉献者的品格。And completely satisfied the mind of Lord Krishna. 
就满满足了主 Krishna 的心意。So Rukmini is the principal queen of Lord Krishna. So Rukmini is Krishna's most famous queen. If you go to our temple in Los Angeles, the deities are called Rukmini Dwarkadish. If you go to our temple in Los Angeles, the deities are called Rukmini Dwarkadish. And the temple there is called New Dwarka. Ah, that temple's name is called New Dwarka. So the mood in Dwarka is opulence. So where there's opulence, there's not so much sweetness. Dwarka the. 心态是富裕，嗯，当哪里有富裕的时候呢？哪里欠缺的就是甜美。The more there's opulence, then the more distance there will be between the devotee and Krishna. 哪里有富裕，在就是哪里哪里主和奉献者的关系呢，就有距离。But Where there is sweetness, there will be more intimacy. So Krishna, Lord Krishna, enjoys the sweetness in Vrindavan, and he's very intimate with all the devotees in Vrindavan. To Krishna, in Vrindavan, he enjoys the sweetness in Vrindavan, and he's very intimate with all the devotees in Vrindavan. Any other question? No? Okay. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada.